Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields. And in this video, I am going to show you a two by one broken rib stitch. And this was uh, requested by Judy. She wanted to see it uh, pattern knit flat and in the round. So in this video, I'm gonna do it knit flat. And in the next video, I'll do a, a version in the round. And this version, I do not have a border on it. So you'll want to increase the number of stitches for whatever size of uh, border that you want on either edge or at the beginning. But I wanted to show you that um, it doesn't curl whenever you just have it all the way at the very beginning of your row. You don't have to do um, like a rib stitch at the beginning because this is a rib stitch. It's just a little bit different. So what makes it uh, two by one, so it means it's two knit stitches, one purl stitch, two knit, one purl. So you're going to cast on in increments of three. I did it in three plus one, so I have one extra stitch at the beginning. So I have a purl and then two knits, a purl. So I have one extra a stitch on just so that the beginning and end was the same, the sides. Now I could just remove those so that I have the two knit stitches without this. I could add an I cord, you can add a bigger border to the side so that it lays a little flatter. But this is just an example. So the, what makes it the rib was the two plus one, so two knits, one purl. What makes it a broken rib is that this rib stitch has a purl knit, purl knit, purl knit. Um, so it's not all purl stitches going up that seam. So knitting on the front side of your work, you're gonna knit all of the stitches all the way across. That just makes it, to me, it makes it easier. That way you're not purling all of your stitches on the back side of the row. So this is, uh, so you have more knit stitches in your pattern than purl stitches. I'm all about uh, trying to maximize the number of knit stitches that I have versus purl stitches. So this yarn that I'm using is a Cloudborn yarn. This is actually the first time that I have used this yarn and I am really enjoying it. I'll leave some more information about it below, but it's knitting up very nicely. I am using Haya Haya needles, size 11, to knit this. All right, so that was the right side of our work. So on the wrong side, we're gonna knit one, purl two, all the way across until we come to the end, and then we'll knit that last stitch. So we're gonna knit one and purl two. Knit one and purl two. So when we knit this stitch, we're creating a purl stitch on the front side. So that's what gives it the broken look. That's why it's called broken. So I really like the broken stitch. It's one of my favorites. Adds a nice texture. So that was a knit one. So we're gonna purl two, knit one, Purl two, knit one, purl two. And then we're gonna knit this last stitch so it matches our first stitch. So there you have two by one broken rib stitch. So it's a very pretty stitch. So hi, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you guys in the next video to knit it in the round.